A lot of viewers wanted to see some of their favorite video game systems go head to head. So we decided to give something to everyone because today we'll be putting 12 retro systems through a series of trials. If they break, they're out and we pick one winner. From Super Nintendo all the way to PS3. Pick a side and let's get started. The console wars started in the 90s, with the 16-bit Super Nintendo outselling Sega Genesis by about 9 million units. Hold on to your bits, consoles. We're taking you to the battle ring. I'm a Genesis guy. Love Sonic. Don't get me wrong, Mario's great, but Super Nintendo never owned one. I used to have my Super Nintendo in Mortal Kombat 2 hooked up to a 4-inch black and white portable TV in my bedroom. A 4-inch TV? And now I have bad vision. Weird. Roll! God, what have I done? Okay, so structure looks pretty good, but the power switch is, feels a little wonky. Super's still got its controller, it lost its game. Oh, this power button's a little wonky too. Eric, I know you love your Super Nintendo, so try it first. Okay. Oh, the switch. I can't angle it. I think it's done, bro. No! I have hope. Boom! All right. Genesis. One. Next, both companies up their bits with the N64 and Sega Saturn. Then Sony introduced the first PlayStation and outsold both its competitors. All right, so we're about to do second generation, a lot of hours playing these games and not talking to girls. This is essentially the default version of an N64, just an N64 with GoldenEye in it. Yeah. There's not many other kinds I know. Roll. The N64 cord cut. Extra damage points because the 64 is in midair, and then the cart would shoot. It was like a train collision. All right, Eric, what's the damage? It looks uh, significant. Look at the Saturn. It's just like ready for action. All right, let's plug him in. Test him carefully. Sega Saturn, let's see what happens. Even if it powered up, I don't think we, we couldn't even open the tray because the tray button is gone. Nope. Done. PlayStation original. We've got an interesting problem here. The case won't shut. I'll hold it down. All right, hold the teamwork. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. PlayStation done. Now this guy. We're both rooting for this one. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Come on, Pierce. We got a light. We got a game. All right, okay, just turn the cameras off. We'll be a couple hours. Looks flawless. And I think cartridge games, I mean, they're great. I'm just gonna leave. In the next generation, the cartridge was totally dropped and all systems went disc. Just in time for Microsoft to complicate the war even further with the Xbox. It's four consoles at once. The original Xbox is a beast. This thing is LOL huge. Roll! Cow. Wow, that was a lot of destruction. That's like a four car pileup. Let's plug him in and test him. Let's go ahead and talk about the two that I don't think we can even test. Xbox One original, face plate's gone. <laughs> and why that's so important is this is the power button and this little wire clip attaches deep inside the system, so 
You can't test There's this no one. fixing or even turning on. PS2. It's just in so many pieces. Oh, we definitely can't test this. This yeah. is this is a DVD drive. So now no. the Dreamcast, I think this one might do something. You had one of these, right? Oh yeah, I love my Dreamcast. So I hope it turns on. <laughs> Beeping. That's a longer beep than usual. Booting up. Looks good. And I'm playing games. All right. Dreamcast. I'm Dreamcast. impressed. Last but not least in this generation, GameCube. This could do it. Is it spinning? Do you hear anything? I don't think so. Nothing. But Lunchbox, out to lunch. So only the Dreamcast survived this generation. Time to drop the fourth generation. All right. This takes us to the last generation we'll be testing. Sega was finally put to rest, but the battle raged on with the Wii, 360, and PS3. How you guys feeling? The 360, this thing is going to red ring if it doesn't explode. And this is actually my personal Xbox 360. So the one that we got off eBay red ringed, so we had to use mine. But that's not my hard drive on there, right? No, no, we switched the hard drives. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Okay, great. We switched the hard drives. Roll. How does the PlayStation 3 look? I think it, it's uglier. Tough to do. Oh, hey, Xbox. The Xbox evacuated the scene of the crime. The front popped off, but other than that, it, it looks pretty good. I think, I think it like landed right on the hard drive. It's still gonna red ring. There's no way it doesn't red ring. We'll see. And then we, the little front plate came off. But the Wii looks totally fine. Let's plug them in. Let's start with the Wii. Okay. <laughs> That's such not a good sound. That was like an angry sound. It was like, well, oh, 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 it's working. Okay, I'm trying to feed it the game. Aren't you hungry? It's so angry. It's making these like hissing sounds. Like an angry wombat. Push harder. Oh. I think I just like wedged it in between. Okay, it turns on, but you can't really play a game unless you downloaded it. PlayStation 3. Ugly. Then it's got a stupid Spider-Man font. Come on. Not lighting up or anything. No, it's a piece of garbage. Your personal, personal Xbox. Xbox 360. There's the thing. Oh, the green light is on. There's no way it's not red ringing because it fell from 15 feet. Wait. There is oh. no <laughs> way. It works. <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. Wow. Are we gonna call the 360 the clear winner here? I, yeah. I mean, you can't put a game in. This has. This is fully functional. It's got character. Yeah. For our second test, we made our own special blend. This is Battle Dew. Let's say you got a late night video game session, you get some Battle Dew on your console. <laughs> Will it survive? We're gonna find out. Roll. Action. Will they boot up? Will we electrocute ourselves? Find out. Let's test them. All right, we just doused these in battle do. Let's carefully turn them on, and we're all wearing gloves. Don't try this at home. Let's hit the power. Okay, let's see what explodes first. I heard beeping. The freaking Dreamcast booting up like a boss. It doesn't even need to hit, be turned on. No, it's like, I'm ready, guys. It's so caffeinated. Okay, well, the Dreamcast has chosen his own time. Okay, it's working. I'm gonna use my magic touch on the genesis. Do it. Okay. Hmm. Nope. Ow. Genesis yeah, is dead. N64. Pierce. The lights on. Uh, mm. I hear like a humming. Take the cartridge out. Okay. okay. Sorry. Now your Xbox. So my personal Xbox. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I think your Xbox is dead, bro. 
The answer is clear. The Dreamcast was, as I thought, the best system ever made. Maybe not the most popular system of all time, but a good system nonetheless. And clearly, the toughest. Da, 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 da. Even though I was glad to see the Dreamcast win, a lot of brave systems did lose their lives today. And so ends the console wars. Justin, what are we gonna do now? We've destroyed all our video game systems. I'll be fine. I've still got this. That's pretty cool. What if we battle tested it? Don't you dare touch Cubby. I'm really good at it. Oh, I hit my face.